Once your system has been set up for online voting, you'll need to activate the specific meeting and send online voting invitations. Most of the meeting's process is unchanged, so we'll just be focusing on the differences. If you need to brush up on the configuration and use of the meeting wizard, check the resources below. We'll set up the meeting in the usual way in the meetings register. After you've put in the meeting type, date and so on, you'll also need to click the checkbox to allow online voting. Clicking this will also enable you to enter a voting cutoff date and a cutoff time. Complete the meeting details in the register and open the meeting wizard, following the usual process to create an agenda. When it's displayed to the owners on the portal, only the first paragraph of each motion will be displayed to prompt them about the content of that motion. You might consider if your agenda templates could be upgraded to make the most of the first paragraph. Other than that, agenda setup is exactly the same as previous releases, so we'll jump ahead to issuing the notices. For an AGM with online voting enabled, you'll have an additional section on the issue window for sending out voting invitations. The voting invitations are printed or emailed separately from the agenda notice, by default using the lot owner's preference for correspondence delivery instead of meetings delivery. The delivery preference can be edited, if required, on the fly. Unlike the meeting notices, the invitations being sent by email will be sent automatically when you click issue, so ensure that you've updated the templates before you proceed. Printed voting invitations will be printed after any printed notices, allowing them to be distributed separately. After clicking issue, a pop-up will advise you that the meeting is now open for voting. Now, if you've decided to charge your clients for online meetings, there's one more step. If you've set an amount against the new quantity management fee, PM Vote, the meeting wizard has a new step that will launch you directly to the quantity management fees screen so you can charge it. Click on the launch button to open the quantity management fees screen. PM Vote will already be loaded and you'll simply need to add the quantity, detail and click charge. Click on the next video in this series to go through the client's process to log into the portals and cast their vote.